fierce, terrible, nightmare-made material. Hey everybody, Sinister the Coon here and welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon, clearing the Hammond Estate. Yeah, we are at the release date when I played this, well a couple days after release, but scouting about, I can't enter the dungeon yet, yeah, still lo locked, the shuffling horror, yeah we're not going in there yet, up, oh, back up, kind of a slight mistake, we have a lot of things we have to address here first, so, Let's first start with our new goals. <clears throat> Successfully complete your first foray into the ruins. So apparently we gotta go complete your first foray into the ruins. So we need to do some ruin runs. Of course we got some stuff to look into. And then succeed in your first assault, second assault, and third and then complete the final darkest dungeon quest so we're gonna have to go in here at least four times that means we need to be on our point from here on out so we got our work ahead of us so a little bit of a recovery a little bit of a um, review sergeant jackals recovered from gam with gambling mother tessa prayed and apparently we got the new we got actually balance for Tyra Moore. She's no longer paranoid and she actually gained balance. So she has a 15% move resist, which is a benefit. Currently right now, we're still gonna need to do more wield runs if we're gonna be doing you know, anything else. So I'm gonna be quietly feeding leveling up as necessary. So we'll take a trip to the stagecoach. Let's see. I think I got everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I got everybody. <sighs> the better question is should I even bother with the stage code right this second? I can upgrade the I can upgrade the network. I got double vestal right now. I know the Plague Doctor wouldn't hurt, but I think I'm gonna save it up. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna save up. I think I'm gonna save up. Cause I do wanna upgrade. I do wanna upgrade the blacksmith. At least to level what three the weapon smith. But we'll increase the furnace a bit. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. Oh, Warren runs. Not pleased by this. Not dealing with this phylus right this second. <sighs> Not really caring about the prop, the tavern. I could use to go to the Abbey, but not this second. And the sanitarium. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. All right, so we're gonna do a lot of bookkeeping here. Don't care about the known cheat. Fragile, I can get rid of. And Hieromania, I don't really care for. I really need her to stay with that Warren Tactician. It makes her very good on the two spot. What I'm probably gonna do is I think I'm gonna go with the Hand of Light, actually. And just in case she falls to the three or four, she can self heal herself and still have divine comfort. This will play her more in the two, more comforting in the two spot. I want to get rid of the fragile, but I'm not too sure if I want to do that yet. Not too worried about nocturnal. You got a slew of shit we got to get rid of. You are not going into ruins this week. Tyra, we're going to address this. Nocturnal can stay. But fear the unholy, I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you to get that rid of. 
Because if we have to face off against the freaking Prophet, I need you. So you're there. Let's check for diseases. Slow draw. Warns phobe. We have a lot of things we have to get rid of. Not so much with Dancer Mania, I can deal with that. You're actually robust. Alright. Disease resist. McDougal. Yeah, you're anemic. We gotta get rid of the anemia and we gotta get rid of the well, zoophobia I can deal with. Tipler. I might want to address that later. Reprehensible. We'll never drink. Bleed resist. Not too worried about that. Brother Kyle. I have the one I'm too worried about. I'm not too worried about. And Gas Mitchell. Off guard's not gonna bother me too much either. And you're soft. We gotta do deal with that later. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to go into the ruins. So. Let's make sure everyone's ready to go. Apprentice Necromancer. Okay. There's going to be an interesting composition here. So before we do... Uh, get your ass out of here. Before we do anything else, I need to address stress. No matter how little it is. Stone Cold, you can't drink. But you will gamble, though. Alright, exactly. Alright, I'll trick it off you. You go gamble. Everybody else is okay. So I think we'll be okay with this. Let's do this. Alright. Mother Tessa is definitely gonna level up with this hunt right here. Minus two dodge. That's gonna be good for a front runner if I feel like they're gonna be a kill too easily. Who's gonna be my front runner though? For this one, I need to make sure I can get to the back row. Swan still th well against unholy. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. That stress resistance. You know what? Brother Kyle is much better off against the Unholy anyways. And just in case he is shuffled, he can get to use the Holy Land, so... Yeah. Brother Kyle, you're in. That also means we can't use Ghast. And we have 3 and a 4. Myra is good from the 3. Blinding gas and plague grenades are all good. Sorry, even blast might actually be better off. I'm not too worried about the bleed or or anything like that here. I think we're gonna go with yeah. I think we're gonna go with the sorry and blast. So you definitely playing the four. Which leaves the three. Fuck it. You don't have you don't have the fucking resolution to do this, but you are perfect for that three spot. And with blight, you can really do some damage. This is unnecessary risk, but we're gonna take it. The breakers. <laughs> Interesting. So let's see what Tessa can do. Let's see what we can use with oh no nope, no And character class. Twenty percent damage. Not good against beast. Oh ho ho ho. We might have some interesting things here. Planes are just a lot of dodge resists. 
You're going without a crate. You're going without trinkets this time. Let's see what we can use with you. Stun. Ooh. Stun. Stun skill chance. We'll take that. That'll help out a lot. And there's really nothing else because you can you can resist by yourself and you got oh yeah I got rid of battlefield medicine we'll see if it comes back to bite me later Felicia nice speed 12 there's not anybody who's gonna be moving faster than her I could put in the extra damage and the stress damage, but I'm not really caring too much about that. She's fine. And then we have Brother Kyle. Hey, bro, Kyle. You're getting the legendary bracer. So you're going to be always hitting last. And your dodges aren't going to be worth a damn, but that's fine. Because we have that. So we're going to switch up your skills a little bit. Actually, if we're going to do that composition, I think I'm going to get rid of Stunning Blow. I'm going to actually put in the ball with a Faith, which gives me 25% protection, which will help out a lot. Because we're dealing with a lot of unholy shit. That'll be my best bet. So, Brother Kyle, unlocking the ball with a Faith. Zealous Accusation. Smite and holiness. So we're gonna do a little bit of do a little bit of maintenance. Make sure everyone's up to snuff here. Upgrades. Battlefield medicine can stay there. I have done no upgrading. What am I smoking? Okay, you're playing the two, so. She can play from anywhere but the front row, which is fine. That can play from the front. Wow. Oh yeah, I did do some upgrading. Okay, I, I, I know I'm not wasn't smoking. I just probably haven't done it yet because I they just leveled. Tessa. Who's my last one? That's Cold Stone. Oh, Kyle. oh, Felicia is already upgraded. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. I ran with her. That's wrong. And let's make sure I'm not straight. She's upgraded. I'm ill advised to this. But I'm going to be underprepared for this. I'm not liking this. Well, maybe not. Maybe not underprepared. Ill prepared might be the better term. Let's see. Let's go into cell mode. Probably not gonna need this. Can... Yes. Disease resist I can keep. Brain skills I can keep. Not bad. Eh, not bad. Keep any slaves. The accuracy might be worth it. Blade resists. Uh, we can always find another one of those. Same with the blight resist. Sort. Alright, we have enough to do mission. <clears throat> Let's go. Alright. So one of the new upgrade things I see here is the holy water must have been from the freaking must have been from the vessel. The shovel must have been from the freaking grave robber, and the anti venom from the play doctor. Okay. Eighteen. With the two anti venom, three additional shovels. We'll go two keys. We'll go two keys. Oh, three keys. 
three bandages for sure, an additional holy water, and two torches. One more holy water for the road. Here we go. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? A devil, a devil. All right, we got our work cut out for us. He's not gonna be near. He's gonna be on the far end of the hall. So we're gonna have to go through a total of eight rooms. This is the room I wanna make it to without getting killed off. So, final, final run now before we get this bad boy rolling. She's straight. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. Though the fragile is gonna be a bit of a thing, I do have the divine comfort. And as for you, give it a stunning blow and put in the ball with the faith. This should help out a lot when he's gonna deal with it when dealing. It'll increase the torch by six, so I may have been a little bit overzealous with the freaking uh, torch. And if I need to, I can go into stress hell from inspiring cry. We'll see how this first set goes. Let's go. We begin. A little bit of money and disable herbs, which I was actually going to bypass. Damn. Last uh, slowdown. Let me deal with this real quick. That's probably what it is. Oh, what the hell? Close this. Close this. Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Alright, this should speed things up a bit. We have to jump on them. A lot of mistakes here. Sorry. Should have closed some stuff. Alright. So now that we have to jump on them, let's see what we're gonna need to do. That's a bone soldier right there. He's dying regardless. You're probably dead as well. You only got Quarrel. Let's go. Precision and power. Great debuff too. Nice. And this helps out a lot. Since you got stunning grenades, let's stun. Excellent. Now you even lose the turn. This should do 20% damage more to the undead. That's a mess. Deciding on what I want to do here. Oh, you're guaranteed death if I hit you. You not so much. This advantage. Give them no quarter. That takes care of one. Good resists. Round two. Now that I got that in order, I think I can throw the dagger at you. Alright, that guarantees your death. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Alright, I want to bring you up. This already in blast. There we go. And there's another stun! Beautiful attack. Good dodge. This puts you on, this puts you on the edge of, this puts you on the edge of like, getting smacked. Smack the hoe! 
Is that an accusation? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. One more to go. And we'll pick him. Deploy. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Let's see what Holy Water does with this. Ooh! Well, that was a quick and easy heal. Textbook for the first set. I see the torch. Let's do this. And cracked. We're gonna try to keep as much light as we can in this dungeon. This is why I brought two torches. Normally, I, that's another reason. This is one of the reasons why I keep two torches. I why I throw two torches here. I want to keep the light going in this place. Here we go. Get some of this wine, bitch. That's twenty stress. I was figuring that's gonna eventually happen. I can kill you, but you're gonna be the bigger issue I gotta deal with later. We'll do poison darts. The ground quakes. Yes. We'll just let you go two turns without getting get without saying it. I do like the stun though. Excellent work. Whew. She's bleeding in debuff. Stress damage for the next three. There's a bunch of that. Quick bandage. And you know what? We're dealing with an unholy foe, so let's let's make him pay for it. There's the debuff. Four damage. Not too worried about it. That can almost kill. That still is a possibility, but that can almost kill. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I'm not minding that, actually. I don't mind that too much. Because now I can throw a dagger at you. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Now, this is why I like Sorian Blast. Stunned, and we get the free to and we get a freebie. Good dodge. Let's screw with you some more. Good resist. We'll have to move up one this turn, but that's alright. That puts him in range. Can't do anything at this second. Let's do some emboldened vapors on the homeboy here. Plus three speed will help. We'll, we'll peg you. Stun resist. Three damage. Double resistance. Bang to dead. And I think we can finish you off. Nicely. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yes, good sir. We know. We got this a little bit of a skeleton key. So far, a textbook. I needed the two portraits. Alright. May have overprepared a little bit. More loot. 25 more gold. Thank you, Adam, for playing FNAF World. There's an interesting opposition here. I don't think I'm gonna need to blight you. Yeah, I can finish you off just fine. It's an easy, it's an easy pickup. Good block. Well, good through, that's a good hit. But double resistance all the same. Get some of this wine! 20 stress, that's gonna be a big thing for me. 
the shuffle a little bit. Excellent. Let's do a free turn of Divine Comfort. Get some of that comforting. That way it's your turn. A little bit of accusation. Jesus, and Zilla's accusation is going to be important for this one. You know what? Peg him again. Excellent work. Another run of the old gods. Great dodge. This is looking textbook right now. Nothing going crazy right now. Well, there's a bleed debuff. That's okay. Give me like disorienting blasts. Excellent. Some more healing. Just to stay keep everybody and keep everyone in check. There's one up for the lost. And another. Jeez. You know what? Pickaxe in face. Deeds. This expedition at least promises success. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna drop them. I think I'm gonna drop the medicinal herbs here. I might regret it later, but we'll see. Up oh, here we go again. It's not like he's stealing it, so I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the sparkle. Not bad. We gotta re we recovered the key for this. So far, the light's not been a big issue for me. And we get a good scouting. We have our first shovel procced. And two free in two free rooms of no of no ass kickery. So we get pretty we're pretty decent right now. More contents. Another hundred gold. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. We'll crack a torch over here. First food proc, not bad. I was kind of estimating when we really get that first food proc. Continuing onward, we're looking pretty good right now. Free box, and we're empty. No books. We are of a trap. We're gonna deal with that with her. Get disarmament. There we go. Alright, still nothing that we need. Keep that from being an issue. We just need to make it to camp. Okay. This one should be a pretty this should be textbook as well. Once we give it to him. I think I can, actually. Yeah, that might that might actually be the one. There we go. Dealt with. Now that he's dealt with. Six damage! Good night, girl! Two damage only. Oh, this is death. Holy jeez, man! A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Holy hell, we're looking pretty good here. Alright, gotta make it one more room. Let's go. Another good dodge. That's three dodges from two dodges from the for the for the, for the um, grave robber. A little bit of holy water too. You know what? Pop one here. And pop one here. No books. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery. And boogeymen. And we're gonna camp. Feasting. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Alright. Ugh. Ooh. One companion get 10 dodge and 10 accuracy boost. You know what? We're gonna need it for the grave robber.
Reduce his stress by 10. 10 ag. That's fine. Well, reduce his stress by 15. Make 15. Ooh! First ambush. But 15% stress damage is gonna help. So we have the bleed debuffs and all that. Stress damage, stress damage, and stress damage. We're good. And I should have went for the I Time Ambush. Oh god. We got a madman. To start, I want it. That's not gonna bother me so much. We can make this work. Keep you guys at bay for the turn. Okay. We gotta, get, we gotta address that next turn. Get some let's get some light in here. Still damn. There we go. Let's move up. Round two. We gotta deal with you. Good damage. That take care of you for the turn. Stress. 24 stress. Let's get rid of you. Yes. There we go. You're the next turn. Let's deal with you. Crazy man. Round three. Crazy man dead. Soaring glass. Stunned. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. <sighs> Bullet dodged. That could have gone far worse. The only thing, the only thing is that a little bit of stress from the play. For our luck, for our lovely Felicia. But other than that, I think we'll be okay. Whoa, what's this? Oh, 20% damage. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can see how that works. Here we go. 15 damage. Not bad. Ooh, light in addition to that. Disorienting Blast. This is disorienting. Stunned and you're up to the front lines. That means I can beat you over the head a little bit. After a little bit of that. Resist the debuff. But you're dead next turn regardless. Do accuse him. And let's deal with you. Missed the bump in the knife in the three. Round two. Felicia's being MVP here. Winner. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right. No food proc. This is the fight. Here we go. Thank you. We can make you just that. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. 
Unholy and he's Eldritch. 105 damage. He's blighted though. He has no blight resistance. So we're gonna keep the blight up. Four damage on the claw and dead. Alright. He has a decent stun resist. And there's a skeleton there. Your goal in life is to do that. You're gonna you're gonna stabilize. And couch is fucked. Not a single fuck given. Reapply. That is getting ugly here. I'll bring you up to the front of the line. You get stunned. Oh, this is just gonna get interesting here. Beat you over the head. And that's a free turn to smacking. 17, this is textbook. Continue the apl applications. That is 12 damage every three rounds. You might not live. Stress damage. Not too worried about that, actually. Some more of that emboldening goodness. Eight speed. Death. <laughs> if I hit you hard enough, will you die? This is the question. Will you die this turn? Uh, we apply. We're not gonna take any chances. Twelve more. Disorienting Blast again. Stunned again. Over the head. Textbook. With no living sinew to actuate them. Will these walking bones finally fail? Oh my god. This girl's getting stunned all over the place. Get over here. Dodge and everything else, man. Not too worried about it. Actually, your speed can go take a, take a hit. We'll do that later. At least I know the setup. Flipping awesome. This was textbook. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of stuff here. This is just basically textbook. Not a whole lot of money, per se, but we got a lot of good stuff. Plus, we also got the Martyr Seal, seal so that's going to do a lot of us good. Nine busts, three portraits, twelve crests, and extra two extra deeds. That actually worked out pretty well for me. Let's see. But the Tessa is now at three, so you won't be coming out. But you're diseased. The hell happened to you that you got a disease? Oh, the worries. Well, I can, I can address that next week. This upcoming week. Myra? Tuckered out. Uh, you really don't do a whole lot of damage anyway, so I think I'll be alright with that. But a wheel tactician I do want to keep. Natural eye. Ugh! I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wanna keep that. We're gonna get rid of Clumsy though. We don't need that minus five dodge. Uh, ooh, not bad. We will address that next week. So, done. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. So, we'll do a little review at the end of the week, at the beginning of next week. But other than that, there's not much else I can do right now. So, that being said, see you next week. Deuces.